there, Stuart Matola here, and I'm filming to you in Tuscany, Italy. It's pretty sweet. I'm on retreat here. Haven't posted on my site for a little while because I've been traveling Europe, but I want to talk to you in this video about how your relationship challenges or your sexless marriage can feel like life or death. Okay. So uh, if you're trapped in a sexless marriage or if you keep spinning on the same fights and arguments with your partner, or if you feel like uh, they won't let you in, or there's verbal abuse coming at you, or there's ways in which disconnection happens all the time, uh, or now and then it just triggers you, activates you, uh, you're going to want to check this out because I'm going to offer you some tips and tools in this video as well. So, uh, you know, what do I mean when I say uh, a sexless marriage or a relationship challenge feels like life or death? Um, you know, typically it can feel very extreme. Like, when will this ever end? Will we always be spinning in this? Will, uh, you know, my sex life ever be in a fluid way where I'm actually fulfilled? And uh, in the roughest moments, in the most extreme moments, it can feel like life or death. And I want to give you this quote real quick from uh, Stephen Pressfield's book, The uh, War of Art. And uh, at one point he says, the tribe enforced obedience through the threat of expulsion. So consider that for a moment. And the tribe that I'm talking about is the tribe of two. For many people, that's the tribe that they're living in today. It's that tribe of two, which, as you may experience, can often feel very claustrophobic. It really is not a healthy way to live where it's just the tribe of two. But I don't want to go into a tangent here about, you know, community and having more people in your life. But I want to focus here on when your partner pulls away or when they're uh, denying you sex, not even open sexually, not open as far as trust. Uh, you can, it can feel like a death sentence. So there's a way in which your nervous system is responding in that moment in which it actually is feeling threatened and it is feeling a sense of life or death. Because at the end of the day, we humans, as you may very well know, are wired for attachment, we're wired for connection, we're wired for intimacy. And when that gets ripped away from us time and time again, or our partner is just completely closed off to us, um, or we can never be enough for them, uh, our nervous system can freak out because we're not getting our connection needs met. We're not getting our intimacy needs met. So the big tool I wanna offer you in this video is you know, on the top level to notice that like, yeah, that's your nervous system and that's not you, okay? That's a moment and it may be a moment that recurs often for you, that repeats and you start to believe that that's your identity. So um, you know, if you're experiencing fear in a moment of, not having the intimacy that you seek and that's been going on for a long time, you have to realize, and you might even say to yourself, I am not my fear, I am feeling fear. My nervous system is feeling fear. So when you're in that space, and again, it's not always as extreme as life or death, but when you're in that space where you're feeling the pain of disconnection and the lack of intimacy, want to offer you this tool and that's simply to create some more space within yourself from your nervous system okay. and a way of telling yourself okay I'm, I'm having a challenge moment I'm activated I'm triggered I'm freaking out but that is not who I am that is just this moment so how can I take a few breaths and through the breath create some space from that momentary state that you're experiencing and if you can master that that little tool right there that is going to help you so much and i know from personal experience and i know from coaching you know many clients over the last 15 years your ability to pause slow things down understand oh this is my nervous system this is not me is a way of creating more space on the cognitive level and then the way to create the more space on the body level, also known as the somatic, is to drop into a few deep breaths. It could be 10 breaths, 
and you might do both at the same time. In fact, I'd recommend you do both at the same time. A simple deep breath into your belly, noticing the inhalation, the exhalation, and telling yourself, this is my nervous system. This is not me. And that is a very simple way to get out of that uh, space of feeling like you're trapped or life and death situation in your relationship. At the end of the day, it's about inner spaciousness. Because when you have inner spaciousness, you have more freedom, you have more calm, you have more composure. And when you are uh, more calm, centered, and composed, now you don't feel like you're at the mercy of your partner and you're starting to take self-responsibility for how you're experiencing the interactions in the relationship. And being in that more centered place, you're going to be in a, in a much more empowered place to actually change your situation. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please check out links to my work below. Signing off from Tuscany, Italy. Have a kick-ass day. Bye.